police trooper critically injured during a shootout with a murder suspect is now suing emergency dispatchers. In a federal lawsuit, his attorneys claim the trooper was never warned that the suspect was armed and suicidal. KGW's Kyle Leboshi has been looking over this lawsuit. And Kyle, the trooper and his wife now seeking $30 million in damages. And that lawsuit details a series of alleged missteps by emergency dispatchers, fellow officers, and hospital staff that ended in the shooting of Oregon State Police Trooper Nick Cedarburt. You re may remember this case. It was Christmas night, December 25th, 2016 in Sherwood. Cedarburt got into a shootout with a man suspected of killing his wife. The OSP trooper was shot 12 times. He was critically injured and faces a lifetime of disabilities. In the lawsuit filed yesterday in federal court, Cedarburg is seeking damages for his injuries. The OSP trooper claims emergency dispatchers never warned him. The man who shot him, James Tilka, was armed and suicidal. Additionally, the lawsuit claims Washington County deputies made tactical mistakes and failed to arrest the suspect about a month earlier for domestic violence. We got a statement from the sheriff's office. In part, it says we recognize the sacrifices he made to protect our community that night and the sacrifices he has made throughout his career. We continue to send our best wishes to Trooper Cedarburg and his family. As a matter of standard policy, the sheriff's office cannot comment on pending litigation. Cedarburg is still employed by OSP, although he's not on patrol like he used to be. Back to you.